you know, there's reporting about a $2.2 billion media rights deal um, out there. There's rumor of it? R reporting about the next media That's, rights deal. Uh, then if you, I, I'm not great with numbers, low ball. What, why do you say that? That's a low ball. You're saying how much? $2.2 billion over 11 Not years. enough. Not even close. Now, I'm not trying to inflate it a whole lot, but a two's nice, and eight would be better. That's what I'm talking about, because they know. They know. And we certainly have come a long way. And I'm not about gouging, but it, it's a long time overdue, and we're going to continue to get better and better. All you have to do is look at you know, college basketball and what's coming next, the next wave, the next wave of excitement and you have this now and it, pretty soon we're going to add another gold medal so women's basketball is in a great place right now um let me push back on some of that cheryl um your 2.2 billion man if you wanted more the wnba would have had to capitalize on all the missed opportunities they had this year. I, I agree with her to a certain extent. After the draft, the draft, the, the women's college basketball season was so lit. Then you had to, then they were lucky because the draft came right in the next week. And then the season started like two, three weeks later. So they, they were set up. It was perfect. They had the perfect setup. They didn't have to wait six months. For the season to start or what four months for the season to start like the nba does after their draft or the nfl does after their draft they have their draft and then the season starts right after that so they had momentum they had stars coming into the league and the wnba fumbled the bag cheryl they fumbled the bag, Cheryl. No way you should have had Caitlin Clark coached by a career assistant with no pedigree. A career assistant with no pedigree. No gravitas. No, no name, man. Unproven. An unproven career assistant. On her first head coaching job, coming off a god awful, dreadful season. Who had enough gall to treat Caitlin Clark like a a chore, like she was, like Caitlin Clark was a something stuck to the bottom of her shoe. Because if Caitlin Clark would have came out and been looking great and been shooting and playing Caitlin Clark ball from the jump, you'd have three million a night watching. You would have had that hold over. You had 18 million in the championship game for the NCAA. You had two, three million watching the draft. And now in the WNBA, you're getting 1.5s and 2.3s. It wouldn't be like that if Caitlin would have been, been able to shine from the jump. And I blame Christy Sides partially for that. I blame Lynn Dunn for not getting Caitlin Clark a proven coach that would know how to capitalize on the moment. I also blame the WNBA for making her first month in the league hell, letting her get bullied making her play 11 games in 20 days against only the best teams, experienced great teams. Her first game in the WNBA ever, her first four games ever in the WNBA, they didn't even let her get her feet wet. They didn't even let her come in the league and be like, all right. You know, okay, I can do this. They ruined her confidence from the jump, giving her a terrible, god awful coach with no pedigree, no, no background, 
no gravitas, and giving her a schedule from hell. That kind of stunted the momentum that Caitlin had coming out of college. And women's basketball had coming out of college. That stunted their momentum. And then all the bullying and the nasty play. And then you you watch a game and she doesn't even get the ball. She ain't shooting. You got all these other girls shooting. You're like, we, we didn't come here for that. So, yes, Cheryl, the WNBA should have been in line to, 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 to break the bank during this negotiation. But they fumbled the bag at every point. At every point, they fumbled the bag. Should have had Angel go to D.C. Angel should have went to D.C., man, not Chicago. She should have went to D.C. She went to the Mystics and took advantage of that crowd. Maybe y'all could have moved the games to the damn MCI Center, to the big Wizards Arena. But y'all y'all let y'all let them take Aaliyah Edwards. <laughs> Aaliyah Edwards. Don't know I even know who the hell Aaliyah Edwards is. What do you need to do to, then in your mind to go from 2.2 billion to an 8 billion, as you said? What needs to happen? We need tough and fair negotiators and visionaries. And we need a bully. We need a bully behind the table that's willing to say, you know, we'll break up the pieces and go from there. But there's a certain. Nah, man. You got a bully. You got the NBA. You got the NBA. You got the biggest bully. The NBA doing your negotiating for you. The, the NBA broke you in on their package, man. You got the biggest. Nah, you don't. That's not true. I got to push back on that, Cheryl. You got the NBA, man. You got the NBA. You don't need no bigger bully than that. What you need is assurance that, yo, we going to feature our we got one star. We got one star and a possible. It's like it's like um spades. We got one and a possible. We got Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. And we going to ride them to the cows come home. But the but the the, the, the sponsors and in the in the, the advertisers and the, the the networks see that like yo, yeah. Caitlin Clark's just an afterthought. She's a she, she bothering y'all by coming to the league. Y'all y'all annoyed with her, coaches, players. Everybody's annoyed with her. Like the uh, the 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 pundits who follow the game. The the everybody's annoyed with her. She's not. It's like y'all bothered by her. That would worry me. If I was an investor, I would be like, yo, maybe these people aren't ready for the big time because they got their golden goose and they treating her like a dog. They treating her like something stuck to the bottom of their shoe. I don't know if I want to invest my money in a group of people that would do something like that. So stupid. So, Cheryl, it's, it's, it's the WNBA's fault, from the players to the coaches to the people who cover the game to the front office to the commissioner, everybody fumbled the bag in so many different little ways. They didn't capitalize on this. They would have had to hit, they would have had to hit every layup. It was a series of layups that they would have had to make. And they missed almost every one of them. They missed almost every one of them, Cheryl. Now, investors might be woke, but they about money. We in a we in a recession, man. Investors ain't really about wokeness anymore. And like advertisers, they're about money. They want to return on their dollar. They want to know if they um if they put you on TV, people are gonna watch. Now, some place like Disney or something like that that make movies or something, they might be woke. But 
networks that are putting programming on nowadays, they want to know, hey, man, if we put these games on, the people going to watch. And you got one and a possible. Depending on how Angel Reese develops and how you market her, you might have something there, but you definitely got something with Caitlin Clark, and y'all treat her like she's bothersome. Like, y'all treat her like your little brother that's trying to, like, follow you around. Are you trying to hang out with your, your cool friends and your little brother, your little dorky brothers following you around? And you like, oh man. Or you treating her like you was a, like 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 you finally got to, you you a kid that finally got a chance to sit at the cool table, and your old friends that you used to hang with before you started hanging at the new table at the cool table. One of the old friends like, hey, what's up, man? And you like. Man, I'll talk to you later, man. Beat it. Can't you see I'm hanging with my cool friends? So, yeah, Cheryl, the reason y'all, I, I I understand what Cheryl's saying. The way it was lined up from the, from the championship game in the NCAA to the draft, all the hype, all the momentum they had coming into the season, you would think by now, yeah, they would have like been able to ask for whatever they wanted, but they blew it. They blew it at every level. 